So how do we grow um, the resilience and the ability to lead? How do you grow that within yourself and then with others? Firstly, you know, it's got to be turned on within yourself. Some, there's got to be belief in self. And a lot of the time, especially when you're young and you're growing, others need to nurture that. And for us, and we spoke about this earlier, our career trajectory could have easily had been, we're both trained teachers, we'd pop off and teach, and be, which would be awesome. But we ran into this second-hand tin shed on a dump site. We no one else wanted to work. Yeah, and we met a man called Rongawetere who took no notice of the fact that we were only 23 and 24. And for me, he took no notice of the fact that I was a woman because they were big things at the time, and said, you're going to lead this, you're going to lead this campus, you're going to lead this department, you're going to do that, you're going to go to Wellington, and you're just going to get it done. And we'd go, okay. And when you're young, you have much more guts. You, have, you don't kind of think of those consequences. So when you have somebody that believes in your ability to do things, that turns it on, and then you can have that belief and that growth in your leadership. But actually for us, it was an impactful individual that came in and said, well, you can and you will, um, bringing you on a Friday night and on Monday, this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be leading teams. You're going to be managing, looking after Komata, running. And we go, oh, okay, the age of 24. And we're doing, we're doing things that we shouldn't have been, but we knew no different. Hey, you don't know different when you're that age. And it's an important thing. So for that growth, someone nurtured it. Someone believed in us and then got out of the way so we could try stuff out. Yeah. Oh, we got in so much trouble. Mm. And then we were able to grow ourselves. And then those experiences we were able to share with others. So when it comes to others, I strongly believe, especially our rangatahi, that we believe in their vision for their community and their generations. What do we know? Believe in it, invest our time, our experience, resource into it, get out of the way. And then be there for a soft landing when those missteps happen. No judgment.